Hey guys, Sean from Bitebox here. We're here with a new episode of Minecraft. Now what this episode is going to be focusing on is the new update that has just dropped on PC, uh, patch 1.11. Now with this patch, Mojang have and Microsoft have, have added a lot of new items and a lot of new things to the game. Uh, some of these things include new mobs, um, new items, uh, they've introduced a new... Uh, a new structure that can spawn uh, which is the woodlands mansion um, we're gonna see if we can find one of those at some point hopefully we can um, now what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna have a look at a few of the different things that they've uh, added a few different creatures so first of all we've got the vex which is like an undead pixie now this thing spawns in the woodlands mansion and they do a lot of damage. Second is the Stray, which is like a different type of skeleton. Again, they spawn in the Woodlands Mansion. Skeletal Horse. They spawn in the Woodlands Mansion as well. We got a Shocker, which is like a square clam. Now they they're like a square clam that are that can teleport like an Enderman. Now. They do open up. There they are. There he goes. A husk, which is a different type of zombie. Now this is a, an addition from uh, one of the older patches, I believe 1.10. Um, but you are now able to get the uh, the egg that separates it from regular zombies. Now you don't have to use just a zombie egg to try and get a zombie villager or a husk or a zombie pigman. Now they've all got their own eggs. Now, Revoker. A distant dead relative of our noble villagers. Who these guys are located at the uh, the mansion as well. Vindicator. Essentially these guys are melee enemies and these guys are spellcasters. And the llamas. New new critter that has been added. Um, hold on, let's go over here. You can actually hear. Can you hear that? You can actually hear the llamas hawking one back, ready to spit. Now, some of the items that have uh, that have been added. The evoker here. Um, when you when they're killed, they will drop. An item called Totem of Undying, which is what I've got in my uh, shield hand here. Now, what this item does is, when you die, um, you're essentially resurrected with a few extra he hearts of health. So, I'll just show you how that works now. Oops, wrong one. Here we go. Now, watch this. I'm gonna die. I'll end up dying. And, uh, there we go. I was revived there. He was quick. He was running after me like crazy. So, I, got, I had those last few, um, hearts that ended up, I, I ended up getting when I was about to die. Very useful, um, very useful item. Now that will that'll work if you have it in either hand. It doesn't have to be your shield hand. It doesn't have to be your main hand. Now, let's get rid of some of these and have a look at some of the other items. Now, we got the nether, red nether brick, and nether warp block. Now, I believe the red nether brick was added in a previous patch, but I could be wrong. Uh, we've got end rod. Which is like a, I don't know, like a glow stick. It's a glow stick. That's what it is. It's a glow stick. And the observer block. Now, these are all the new, the observer block is new and it has been added in the uh, latest 1.11 patch. Okay. Also in the 1.11 patch is uh, negative enchantments have been added. See these two blocks here, the Curse of Binding and the Curse of Vanishing. If you're enchanting your item, 
and you happen to get the curse of vanishing, you will lose that item. And if you get the curse of binding, that item you cannot remove from your inventory. You cannot drop it, you cannot put it in a chest. The only way of losing it is by death. So whatever you bind to yourself, um, I hope you like it because you're gonna get real gonna get really attached really quick. Now I believe they are all the major things that have been added in 1.11. There are a few other things that have been added here and there, such as bug fixes, um, some enhancements, and these shulker boxes here. So, so we've got some shulker boxes. Now the way you get the uh, shulker boxes is you go to your crafting table and you place your chest in the middle, a shulker shell above and a shulker shell below, and voila, you get your purple shulker box. Now if you want a colored, it's as simple as grabbing some dye, popping your shulker box in the crafting table and adding your dye, and out comes the box which is now colored. Now they act as chests. It's just a cool new design for a chest, um, I suppose. So yeah, now that's it for all the items and mobs that have been added in 1.11. Um, I'm gonna go and have a look if I can find the uh, Woodlands Mansion, and if I can, I'll get back to you. And we're back. So, in that time I found out that there are a couple new items that I didn't get to actually uh, show you because I wasn't informed about them. So, there are two new types of maps. The Ocean Explorer map and the Woodland Explorer map. These are obtained from a new villager called a cartographer so you have to pretty much work through all his different items that are available and the last two items will be these two maps. Now with these I can be unable to figure out which way I can go to uh, figure out where there is a mansion. Ooh, sorry about that, got the hiccups. <laughs> um, now, let's see if we can get to this mansion. Alright guys, so, I've finally gotten close. Ah, and it's right there. Finally gotten close to it. Now this is awesome. <coughs> this is really cool. This is a full on structure. This is, th that's awesome. Th this is definitely the, f kind of the first of its kind. Mm. I don't even think like fortresses and um, and end fortress like the fortresses in the Nether are this complete. This is that's really cool. So let's just have a bit of a look around. Got a creeper here. It's all. Nicely decked out in carp with the carpet. Let, uh, let's grab some uh, some torches to lighten the place up a little bit. Awesome. Hallways. Chest room. Uh, what's in these chests? Are there anything? In there? Let's see. Just the storage room. Interesting. 
Very cool. <laughs> nice natural waterway. Uh, what is this? <laughs> there you go, it's a head. Head of a zombie. Or of one of those villages. Another one. Let's see if there's anything in them. Nope. Doesn't look like it. That dog. That dog. She gives me a heart attack. What about here? Now there's a cauldron there. More villages of the dark kind. There we go. There's a treasure chest. Diamond hose, so you can get diamond items in here. Very cool. And and a blast room is just not much. Okay, let's go the other way. Have a look. Now over here. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Pumpkin farm. Interesting. And a watermelon farm. Very cool. You can hear all sorts of things spawning now. Let's go up. Move the mic away from my mouth. <coughs> yeah, a little library. Uh, nice view. Nice view. Oh, here's the uh, the dining room. See, the lord would sit there. The lady would sit there. His noble landlords around him. A guard or two here. Yeah. I think I could move into a place like this. Oh. Stop groaning at me. Another library. Very cool. Ooh, what is this? It's a like a boxing arena. It is. It's a boxing ring. And the first challenger steps into the ring. Hmm. And what about up here? A chest. Treasure chest. There's not much in this treasure chest there. Alright. Next room. The, be the bedroom. It's the bedroom. And I have no idea what this is. Maybe a chapel? Yep, chapel. Cool. Let's see if there's anything we've missed. There is a whole area. The library. Mm, nothing new in here? Nope. And some other like. I don't know. I don't know what you, what would you call this room? Like a it's like a sunroom. I suppose. Anyway, this is a very cool design. Very, very well done by Microsoft and Mojang to have this entire structure able to be built. 
very impressive. Hopefully, hopefully this marks a sign of maybe bigger and better um, random structure spawns um, for going into the future of Minecraft. That would be really cool. Like really expanding on the uh, RPG ex exploration element of the game. Just curious as to one more thing. Let's have a look. I want to see if there's is there anything in the walls, in the basement. Is there a basement? Or is it just, no, no basement. So it's a two level, three level, a triple level, triple level. How did we miss? How did we miss this? What is going on here? Alright, so we got a giant cat. I'm guessing this is like a definitely like a gambling room. Gambling table. Yeah, definitely gambling. Another bed. Another cat. Two single beds for guests. And where was these? Where were these stairs? Where did we miss? Missed it right there. I must, I must have been right next to it. Well, there you go. That's a, got a secret area behind the stairs. Cool, cool. And what's in here? The toilets, maybe. Yep. Totally a toilet. Definitely the outhouse. Right from inside. And there's the secret chest. Golden apple, some seeds, some meat. And that, I think, just about does our tour of the mansion. I'm stuck now. Oh. Anyway, this is a very cool design, very cool um, implementation to the game. Should make exploring a little bit more fun to see. A little bit more fun to do as well. Awesome. So, <clears throat> thank you all for uh, for joining me for this episode of Minecraft. Looking at all the new features and items of the new Minecraft patch. Patch 1.11. It is now on PC. Hopefully console players and pocket edition players can enjoy this um, really good exploration pack. So as always, have a good day. See you guys soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel down below. Please check back next week for some more videos, some more content. And as always, good day. See you next time.